and welcome back to chapter 9, lesson 13. I know that I'm getting a little tired of saying it, however, I know we still need the practice. So today, we are going to work, start with number 9. So number 9 says 9 and 3 tenths. So, oops, hold on, I'll write it and see if it, it figures it itself out. So number 9 says, that's what I said we were starting with, right? 9 and 3 tenths, I just wasn't expecting it to have 9 and 3 tenths. 9 and 3 tenths. Oops. And then minus, and I'm going to put them, stack them up and down, because I just like the way it gives me more space. Does that make sense? And minus 5 and 7 tenths. Nine and three tenths minus five and seven tenths. Oh my great googly moogly, I already have some hands up. Let's see. Okay, so my friend just said we already have our common denominator, and she said which is ten, and she is spot on. So I know that this is ten. And this is 10. Now what do I do? Okay. So if I have 3 pieces out of 10, and I'm trying to give somebody 7 pieces out of 10, can I do that? So what do I need to do? Yep, so we can make a picture. What kind of candy do you want to use today? Ooh, you're going for the good stuff. All right, so Rolos kind of look a little like this. And there are how many Rolos in each of our strips? Ten. Yummy ten. I don't know. Mrs. Davis, do you like Rolos? Okay, so we'll share with Mrs. Davis today. Shh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I don't need ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I need three tenths, right? So I have three loose candies. And they kind of look like this on the top. And they look like this on the bottom. Mm, I'm just getting all hungry for them already. There's two. I have a lot of friends talking that's not going to make good choices. That's three. So now I have three rolls of Rolos. We said my Rolos each have how many in them? Ten. ten. Where did I come up with the magic ten number at? The denominator. The denominator, the denominator tells me how many is in each package how many the whole is okay so now I'm sharing with the lovely Mrs. Davis and I need to figure out how do I share with the lovely Mrs. Davis okay so I have to cut one open so if I'm going to cut this guy open I'm going to take him away from this, so the nine's going to become in eight. eight. And how many pieces do I add to the ones I cut open? Ten. I have to add ten. I'm going to add the ten in a different color just so that you see I added ten. Does that work for you? Yeah. All right, so here's my ten. These are not fun to draw. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's my ten rollos. All right, so I have ten rollos I added to my I took this guy away and I made him 10 little rollos. I pulled them all out so they're singly laid out. Okay, so we took one of our rollos and we had to open it up. And our rollos gave us 10 more because we have to look at the denominator. And the denominator tells us there's 10 in a pack. And then what do I do with that? I only have two people that know how to share. I know how to share. What do I do next? Okay, so first I'm going to start with my parts. And I'm going to take away seven. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I took away seven. So now I have how many? Five. I have five. Five out of what? Five or six. I have six? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, I do have six. That's okay. Now I have six. Six out of what? Ten. Six out of ten. And then I have eight minus five. Eight minus five. I'm going to take away five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I have one, two, three left over. Now watch this, though. Hey, hey, hang on. I, I want to show the math first. Can I show the math first? And then, we'll, and then we'll fix the rest of my problem. So when I took away one hole from my 9, I made my 9 an 8. But what I'm really doing is I'm really adding 10 over 10, which is one hole, to my 3 tenths. So 3 plus 10 gives me what? 13, so now I have 13 tenths minus, and I'm going to rewrite my 7 tenths. So 13 minus 7 is 6, six and 8 minus 5 is three. 3. Now I have to what? Not done, not done. What do we do? Oh, reduce. reduce. So now I have to divide the top and the bottom. What can I divide in the top and the bottom by? 2. two. So I'm going to divide the top by 2, I'm going to divide the bottom by 2, and now I have what? Three three now I have 3 fifths, or I'm going to put the whole thing together, so I have 3 and 3 fifths. So we're going to do our thumb check. I'm feeling pretty good today, Miss Richardson, it's starting to make sense. I'm still working on it, Miss Richardson. It's still not there yet. I'm really confused, Miss Richardson. It's fine if people are really confused, my friend. I just want to do. Thumb check. Well, I'm drawing... So the question is, why do we draw pictures? We draw pictures because... If you don't understand the math, sometimes the pictures will help you understand the math. So I do both. At some point of the game, I'm going to say, I'm done drawing pictures, we're just doing the math. But while we're learning, we're doing both. Okay, so number nine is done. The next one we're going to work on today is... So we did number nine. Number 12. 
to number 12. 13. Ooh. 12 is being tricky. 13 minus 4 and 1 third. 13 minus 4 and 1 third. So 13 minus 4 and 1 third. And we said that was number 12. What am I going to do first? Ooh, I got a new hand. So I need to find a common denominator. Um, do I have a common denominator here? Yeah. So what is it? Three. three. So in this case, it's going to be three. So even though there's not a magic three here, I'm going to know that my denominator, when I get going on it, is going to be a three. three. I just don't have anything there. I don't need to put anything there. I just know that when I am going to do it, it's going to be three. I need some candy. Candy, candy, candy. Candy. What? Ooh, we've not done gushers yet. G gushers. It's fine. It's fine. So I have 13 little packs of gushers really little because they're only putting three in them or a mystery amount in them two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I have 13 whole packs, and how many is in each of my packs? Three. three. How do we know it's three in my packs? Three is my common denominator. You guys are getting much better at this. I'm very proud. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Why, why am I going to do that already? So you can make um, three, three as a whole. Or oh, three as a whole. Okay, so, so yeah, so what you're going to do right now is you're going to have to open the pack and you're going to have to spill out three because there's three in there. And I need to go up here and I'm going to take a hole because we broke into the hole. So now instead of having... 13 whole packs. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 whole packs. And I have 3. And I'm going to put my 3 in a different color just so you see we didn't start with 3. So now I have 3 thirds that I broke out of my 1 pack. So now I have... 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2 or 2 thirds is left over because I'm going to take away that guy. Now I have 12. 12 minus 4 is 10. I have one friend in the whole room that knows what 12 minus 4 is. Twelve minus four is eight. You are right. So I'm gonna take away one, two, three, four. Let's see. Do do does my picture agree with the numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two out of three left. Why yes, it does. Any questions on number twelve? You don't understand 12 at all? Do you understand the, the numbers or you don't understand the numbers either? Okay, so let's work 12 one more time. 
So I'm going to do the same exact setup. So this is 12 part 2. 12 P2. So if I have 13 whole packages of something and I have to take away 4 and 1 third. Now, how do I get rid of this 1 third? What do I have to do? Shrug the shoulders. What would you guess? What do we do when we have to get rid of a part and we don't have any parts? Okay, so how do I find a part? What? Okay, so I need a common denominator. So if, if my denominator on the bottom is 3, what's going to be my denominator at the top? Yeah, so I'm going to have something over 3 up at the top, and I'm going to rewrite it over here so I hopefully don't lose you, okay? So I just rewrote it so you, I don't lose you. I just don't want you to think there's a part there because there's not. So I think maybe I, I messed you up when I threw the part in where it didn't belong. So the question is, so I have So Miss K likes something. Miss K, what do you like? Candy or something? Uh, sure, peanut M&Ms. <gasps> oh, Miss K wants me to share my peanut M&Ms with her. Well, Usually there's more than three little peanut M&M's in a fun size, but we'll pretend they only have three in a fun size, okay? How do I, how do I share one-third of my peanut, one-third of a package of peanut M&M's with Miss K? What do I have to do? And so, what do we do next? So I said that the, the whole is three, and we have one-third, and I have to give one-third of my peanut M&Ms to Miss K. So what do I have to do? What? Okay, so I'm going to take a whole from the 13. My 13 is going to become a 12. Now, what do I do with my whole? I what? Okay, so now I have three over three because I opened up a bag or I opened up part of my peanut M&M's. So now I have three minus one, which gives me two over... I'm sorry, the, the door's open. And then I have 12 minus 4, which gives me 8. So now I'm left with 8 and 2 thirds. That's the way we just do the numbers. Now, you guys have had practice with problem number 15. Problem number 15 says, find the difference in length. Oops, you can't see. Hang on. says, find the difference in length between a walking stick and a bumblebee. So my walking stick is four inches. My walking stick, the walking stick is four inches and the bumblebee is five eighths. And I have to find the difference, so I have to subtract. I'm gonna put a zero there because I wanna make sure that I hold my place. How much is my Whole blurt. My whole is four. How much is uh, my, when I have to borrow, how much is my whole going to be out of? Eight. It's going to be eight pieces, right? So, who's going to do this problem for me?
Okay, so my friend said, first, Miss Richardson, find a common denominator, which is 8. So we'll put it at the top. So there's my common denominator. What do I do next? So I took one whole from my 4, which made it a 3. And my whole is going to be 8 over 8, is because 8 over 8 is one whole. So 8 minus 5 is 3, or 3 eighths. And then 3 minus 0 is 3. So the difference in length is going to be 3 and 3 eighths. And if I look at my chart, 3 and 3 eighths, which is in inches. All right, so for homework today, you have the bottom half of the mystery picture. So this whole thing is now due tomorrow. Hang on, I have a question on the floor. I already did that. Well, okay. well the, if some of my friends finished it last night, if you finished it last night, you're a lucky duck and you don't have homework tonight, uh, it, at least in math. Any other questions for me? Okay. No, that's fine. All right, so we're all set? All right, so...